Hello there guys, it's Mauricio and welcome back to another product review and today I'll be doing a review on the Techware newest gaming mouse, the Techware Pulse Elite. So if you guys are an OG on my channel, you will remember that I about 9 months ago I think, I did a review on the original Pulse and I do not like the mouse. Uh, there are so many small issues that I've encountered with the mouse that it all just built up for me to have not that big, not that enjoyable experience on the original Pulse. But all those small minor detail or the minor, minor flaws that i found in the original pulse have been fixed on the original techware and they even added more feature on top of that so again it's a really good uh, gaming mouse now so that's a tldr if you think it's worth it to buy i, I say yeah for 190 there's barely anything you can complain about uh until we get to the sensor we'll talk about that later uh, but first of all let's talk about the shape of this mouse which is its biggest strength it's a g pro wireless clone that's the easiest way for me to put it because it's not identical. I won't say it's one-to-one. -one. The Pro Wireless or the Pro X feels wider to me uh, with some different, like very minimal dimensional dimensions changes. But side by side, the only notable one that I can really feel is how much thinner the grip width of the Pulse Elite is. I could be uh, talking nonsense, but in the hand, the GPX still feel much more wider compared to the Pulse Elite. But aside from that, the shape is it's a G Pro. <laughs> so it's a very safe shape, medium size, 75 grams solid shell and 70 grams on the honeycomb. And um, it's a really nice shape. I feel like anyone who started to game and doesn't know what grip style to use can just buy this mouse and experiment. Claw feels nice. Uh, I don't palm that much anymore, but it still feels very natural here. And fingertip also feels really, really good. So um, yeah, it's, it's basically a G Pro. Uh, that's the, the easiest way I can put it. The texture of this mouse also feels really premium compared to things like the X-T3. Uh, it feels very nice. The side here feels really grippy. The mouse button 1 and mouse button 2 also feels really grippy. And whenever I play also, I sweat a lot. So I know when the grip is getting uh, getting slippery and this one doesn't. So it's a really good um, grips. And um, yeah, overall texture is nice. The shape is nice. The design also looks very clean. You also have a again the honeycomb, honeycomb, the honeycomb um, <laughs> plastic here for you to change. Again, 70 grams for the honeycomb, 75 for the solid shell. And the build quality is also very solid. There's barely any creak, barely any flex on this side. And same goes to the top here, very solid. Um, so again, even compared to the original Pulse, they even one up the build quality while lowering the weight. So again. Kudos to Tiger, it's really cool. Uh, next is the buttons. Um, so we have a small wobble on M1 and M2, but they have barely any pre-travel and they have minimal post-travel that I barely notice in game. Um, the scroll wheel feels very nice. Scrolling up feels good, scrolling down feels good, but the middle click is slightly heavier for my taste. The DPI click is also pretty heavy, so you'll never accidentally press this in-game at all. And the side buttons is a really huge upgrade. They get rid of the um, magnetic feature of the buttons and give us a nicer build button. It feels very nice. It's very tactile. It's very clicky. It's very enjoyable to use in-game. And the only post travel that they have is on mouse button 4. And that's very minimal. So the side button got the biggest upgrade on this entire mouse, IMO. <laughs> so the switches included here right now is using the KLGM 8.0. And the, the default was Huano Blue Shot White Dot, but they include a GM opponent that I swapped immediately. I'll teach you guys to, on how to do the hop swap later, but the Kill Gem 8.0 here feels really nice. Uh, I'll do a sound test right now with the Kill Gem 8.0 and Huano Blue Shot White Dot for you guys to hear the difference. Now we're going to talk about how to hot swap um, the um, the mouse. It's really simple. I'm just going to turn it off for ease of mind. So just take off the back shell and then there's a tab here. So take off the top shell. So this is how you will change to the honeycomb as well. And in there you will see the switches and the hot swap uh, plastic caddy. So if you guys can see there's two hooks. So one back, one the front, one is longer than the other. So just push them inward until you hear a click. There we go. And then on the front as well. 
and I just slowly wiggle them out and there you go so uh, the switches needs to stay inside the oops so I'm focusing I need you to focus I need to focus 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 on this there we go so the um, switches need to stay inside this caddy for you to be able to hot swap them and you can just push the pin out to take off the switches the gem 8.0 fits inside snugly so i have to use a piece of cloth for that and again so you have the long prong and the short ones and you take the mouse click which is the white one please show white dot <laughs> the white one on the short prongs so just press it in and then the long hook here will face the back of the mouse so just slowly put them in don't rush it and just gently push them in until you hear clicks on both sides so one click two clicks so once you've heard that two clicks i'm going to do the honeycomb this time just take again you need to look at this hook and this hook needs to go inside right there so just push it in make sure you put it in slowly there we go and Put the back shell back on so just feel the mouse switch until you feel like you can press it and there you go you have new switches on your game mouse which is really cool it's not push pull like the um, aces rg curious and all of that so it's not that simple but you also don't need to take open the mouse so that's again it's a huge w <laughs> now we're going to talk about the mouse feed this one has seen a lot of upgrade compared to the original pulse i'll put the original pulse picture somewhere on here and the original feed is very small it's very sharp and it's very thin this one is thick rounded and has very large area so they feel really nice to play on um i have zero issue with the stock uh, with the stock feed it's not the best uh, that i have that i've owned so there's that if there's like a replacement i'll probably change them but if you don't want to mod your mouse the stock feeds performs really really well so there's no issue there as well um, now we're gonna talk about the dirty part, the sensor. So it has a 30, 70, and it's implemented pretty well. Um, tracking is, is really good, play in game is really good, and overall just, you know, the mouse itself just perform really well. The wireless performance is also really good, uh, barely any input delay, barely any lag, so there's that. The problem with the mouse comes from maybe a firmware issue or a software issue because at 800 dpi it's more to 400 and at 1600 it's more to 800 dpi so i'll put the picture up here again somewhere um i did the dpi division test from mouse sensitivity and i found that the 1600 is more to like 800 with 46 percent dpi deviation so for me if i want to play on my comfortable dpi 800 i have to crank this mouse up to 1600 so it could be a software issue but it also could be that i have a lemon unit but I, that's about it it's doesn't bother me that much because it's a pretty easy fix but you know it's this is something that we as a consumer do not need to go through it, it kind of sucks but overall it's fine it's the only problem i have with the mouse because after aside from that the mouse is actually really really good even the battery life has gotten a pretty huge upgrade well not really huge upgrade it's still the same capacity but the sensor is much more efficient and um, i've noticed uh that the battery life actually goes slower now because I don't know why but back then on the original pulse after a day i lose 50 percent this one after a day i lose about 30 percent so that could be again I, there's no percentage on the software it's only the stupid bar again if you want to see the software check out the original video it's literally the I, literally identical so again um the battery life has been upgraded and also not to mention the eco mode now turns off the dpi color so there you go it's gonna blink and then it's gonna shut down so instead of the original pulse where if you go eco mode it will need to turn off the underglow now the pulse lead will turn off every rgb so if you want to really save your battery life this is the way to go and i think we're done i think that's about it overall conclusion is that at 190 ringgit that you can barely go wrong with the tiger pulse lead it's very good the shape is very nice the buttons feels good the feature set that they include for this price point is really nice the weight balancing it's also really nice it's not back heavy not front heavy it's pretty good um i thought gpx balance was nice this is also pretty nice and um yeah there's really nothing that i hate about this mouse it just feels really good to play with it's just sad that this has issue issues there but aside from that they've nailed it they they completely nailed the pulse need upgrade it feels a lot more nicer than the original pulse um software still sucks but it's techware 
I don't know if they will ever fix it. The original Pulse still have the original software, so there's that. But um, yeah, it's it's good. I like it. I like this mouse. Um, hopefully they fix the DPI issue because then I can probably recommend this easier. But as of now, make sure that you know how to do the DPI deviation test before you get this mouse so you can pro properly set the DPI. But hopefully it's also 11 units so you guys will get a flawless one. And I think that's about it. The mouse feels really nice and I have zero things to complain about. So if you guys like this video, you know, thumbs up. If you guys don't like it, thumbs down. I, I appreciate both of them. And if you guys haven't subscribed already, why not? I do more of this mice content in the future. And I'll probably do a direct comparison to the original Pulse in the future. So you guys can see what I'm talking about when I mean that they possibly gotten a huge upgrade compared to the original Pulse. And um, yeah, if you guys have any question regarding the Pulse Elite, let me down, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll try to answer them as fast as I can. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.